My name is Melissa Siegel. I work for the Maastricht Graduate School of Governance at Maastricht University and UNU Maastricht. Here I'm in charge of everything we do on migration uh, and migration studies, so both the teaching and the research side of this. My name is Godfried Engbursen. I'm a professor of general sociology of the Erasmus University of Rotterdam. I'm research director and also the director of a group which is called CIMIC, Citizenship, Migration and the City. And one important part of our work is, is uh, research on migration, on international migration. So more and more we think it's important for the different research institutes working on migration, migration in the Netherlands, but also migration outside yes. of the Netherlands, to work together, come together to um, discuss the kind of work we're, that we're doing, the results of our research, yes. the way in which we're, we're, we're working on this. So we, um, together we organized a joint workshop between the Master Graduate School of Governance and Erasmus University Rotterdam to bring our researchers together to discuss the topic of transnationalism, which is particularly important in in the Dutch context. Yeah, wouldn't you say? Very, yes, especially in a city like Rotterdam, we have so we have a super diverse city. I think the the number of migrant groups in a city like Rotterdam equals that of New York and, and London. Yes, mm -hmm. and you see that migrants nowadays all have this kind of transnational ties. They're not only living and residing in the Netherlands, we are still, all still focused and oriented towards their home countries. It's ex extremely important also to study these transnational spaces, mm -hmm. to do research, to understand remittances, to understand migration and development. So, not only for scientific knowledge, but also for, for making rational social migration policies, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And I think when we talk about transnationalism, you know, not everyone knows this concept or this term, and at least within the academic literature, when we're talking about transnationalism, I think at least within our work, we're really looking at engagement with, with the home country and ties and actual activities with the home country. Yeah, yeah. and it's really fascinating to see all this PhD students studying not only these traditional migrant groups mm -hmm. like the Surinamese or the Moroccans, but Bur people from Burundi, from Afghanistan, Iraq, Iran. Mm -hmm. So it's really interesting to see this new field of research and people doing research not only in the Netherlands but also in the destination, in exactly. the home countries. In the home exactly. Countries. So we, we've branched out not only to the traditional migrant groups, you know, we've gone more now to forced migrant populations and we've, I think we've also broadened the scope and the sphere of yeah. the way in which we're looking at transnationalism from the two different sides. Yeah. And I think it's also important for the Dutch debate because we have the idea that it's impossible for people you know, to be living in the Netherlands and being integrated in the Netherlands and still have these ties with the home country. And what we show that it can coincide. Isn't it? Yeah, yes. absolutely, absolutely. So I think that's an important point for, yeah. for for policymakers, definitely. And also for for the for the Erasmus University because we have close ties with the University of Amsterdam, mm -hmm. of Utrecht, and we're near the city of The Hague. But first, it's important also to have now a kind of cooperation with the University of Maastricht. So for me, it was yeah. a pleasure to be here. Thank you. We're very happy to have you.